Hey guys, hello and welcome back to me and I look like crap. Uh, Barb, sorry, I'm Barb, in case you're new to my channel. And this is my channel, named after several of my nicknames. B-Rex, the PR Goddess One, the Glamazon, the Hot Mess. Um, if this is your first time watching, thank you for stopping by. I am literally in pajamas. I just finished doing some late night work. It's like 11 at night and I'm going to do a super quick video before I actually literally pack the computer for work. By the way, I, I only have chapstick on over a lip stain and a little bit of concealer I was testing to see if it looked too ghostly and I think it does, but maybe it would work with face stuff over it. So let's get to the actual subject today, which is my last boxy charm box because I'm really just not all that with it. I mean, it's okay, but I'll show you why this month's one is my last one. I mean, I'll admit their add-ons are amazing, but I think I'm going to cancel. All right, so here we go. Um, this month seems to have some sort of BTS theme. Doesn't really say much about it, but they do tell me what I received and what it's worth. I literally got this in the mail today, and um, when I go through it with you, you might understand why I'm not really feeling it. Oh, before we move further, I do not have an official upload schedule because this is my side gig, as in my fun way to detox. So if you are interested in any new videos and seeing what I'm doing long term, not just now, hit the button below, subscribe, hit notifications because YouTube is nuts. Anyway, so, so um, there was a little bonus today about one of my items from Amazon, you know, like the $2, but it takes six months to get to you items. AKA those crazy things that you usually get from China on eBay. Yeah, one of them finally showed up. But yes, so much like with Ipsy, if you're not familiar with BoxyCharm, like me, I started with Ipsy. I'm still with Ipsy. I'm going to try and get rid of them after the next X bag. Um, yeah, anyway, um, you get to pick one item as long as your payment goes through, which you pay, I paid for three months at a time, so we're fine. But if you were month to month, if for any reason your payment doesn't go through, you don't get your choice item. You get whatever they give you by the time your stuff goes through. But they have limited options for what your choice item is. Sometimes it's as few as two items. So I don't know what's going on. For my choice item, I got this palette, which is from a brand called Blink. And it is the Glow Getter Face Palette. It says it's 0.62 ounces or 17.6 grams for those of you in the 99% of the world who do metric. Unlike us U.S. folks. And it has eight colors. Looks like highlighters, maybe. I know these two are definitely blushes, but I'm not sure if this is a blush or a bronzer. So let's see. These are big pans and they look like they're all blush, but they look like they skew kind of ashy um, plum. Like this one might work okay. That might look too gray on me. Even this one might, but you know, I'll try it. It's got six, it's got a big mirror. They're big pans. Hopefully it'll work. Um, you know what? Let's just see. All right. Again, I told him to shut up that I'm trying to finish a video. And I love him dearly, but he just can't not make noise sometimes. So if you hear him in the background, my husband just making noise to make noise, that's the way he is. And I admit I do it too, so I can't get pissed. So these are the four blushes. Oh, sorry. It's the fourth one. So they do look... Let's see. Oh, they have some good pigment to them. That's not bad. Okay. I don't have any makeup on today. I literally have the lip stuff I threw on in the car and the concealer I played with when I got home because I realized I looked like death. I looked tired. Today's been a day. Don't mind my scraggly face. So with the other... I don't even have any tissues here. I'm literally sitting at my work desk in the house from work from home. Well, let's just see. I'll take these two here and these two here. Hmm, not bad. I'm impressed. So I kind of like this. I'm glad I picked this. It looked more ashy and like nondescript in the computer app screen. But let me tell you, the other option was something from Glam Glow. And between you, me, and the wall, I despise Glam Glow. I don't know what the big deal about them is. I don't care for their products. I tried them once in a sample kit, didn't like them. Okay, so the next thing I got was the Elena Badro Baby Blues set. Oh, by the way, um, the Blink Glow Glitter, Glow Getter Face Palette 
the description says this palette features four smooth matte blushes and four luminous highlighters in beautiful sophisticated shades that enhance all skin tones for a personalized youthful glow formulas are refined to blend effortlessly and last all day so you can glow and get it's from the company if you're interested in finding them online i guess um instagram or whatever it would be blink ink it's a boxy charm exclusive supposedly and msrp is 50 bucks and i mean as i'm sitting here looking at this these are really pigmented i'd probably use them as eyeshadow because like i don't usually use blush this color but who knows maybe i'll get crazy with it. so the next thing it gave me that i'm actually happy about is this the elena bedro which i've seen her stuff online but never tried it baby blues set it is three limited edition decadent synthetic makeup brushes in a um travel pouch which is a tan pouch I like how they wrapped it i'm gonna just toss this out if i can get it out of that because it's like a faux suede so like a microfiber because it doesn't feel like real suede and it is embossed i don't know if you can tell and i'm not sure i know it said three brushes and they're supposed to be baby blue so Here's what they look like. The camera's skewing kind of electric blue. So you have some sort of blush or contour, some sort of angle liner or shadow for your crease, and then a total crease brush, flush brush. And let's see how those these feel. Quite soft. I mean, it's very metallic kind of feeling. Oh, more like a pencil. I mean, a plasticky metallic. Like it's more of coating. But, you know, they're very pretty. And I can never have too many brushes because why stop at six bins with two shoeboxes, plastic shoeboxes full of them, and get more. So this is supposedly a $58 MSRP. Whoever pays $58 for three plastic handled brushes is out of their effing mind. I mean, unless you're of the type to, you know, have a three-story, 3,000 square foot closet. I'm talking about you, Miss Rich thing. But whatever. So that's like literally the only two things I liked at all. And they give you five. They are full size, but now I have three full size items I can't stand. Let's go to the next one in line. Dr. Brandt Triple Antioxidant Eye Cream. It's a half ounce or 15 grams, full size. And it's not that I don't like Dr. Brandt, because I do. They're fine. I have nothing against them. And it's not that I don't like eye cream. But literally last month, they just gave me an ounce and a half package of one. How many eyes do I own? I mean, I know I have big eyes, but I do not need yet another full size eye cream. I believe I even got this one from Ipsy last month or something a couple months ago. So, like, seriously, stop sending me eye cream. Just saying. Well, that one, MSRP, $46. It supposedly has their revolutionary A3 power dynamic shield boosted with antioxidant, age defense, and anti-stress ingredients. Designed to help the look of fine lines and prevent first signs of skin aging, protect against free radicals and external aggressors, as well as moisturize. 46 bucks for a half ounce and that's great but like again you sent me a huge ass eye cream literally two months ago do you think i literally bathe and marinate in it anyway and i'm just going down the line in the order here the next thing it sent me was the sam lux beauty brow gel msrp is 22 dollars um but be oh sorry bow down to your brows this brow gel slides on effortlessly, leaving your brows looking fuller and giving them perfect shape. The short brow brush will give you precise placement of your brows, and the lightweight gel has no residue when dry. No information on what color it is. I'm assuming it's clear, because the box doesn't say shit, and neither does anything on the paper. As I'm sitting here with my stripes, it looks kind of cool. Maybe I'll make a new thing. Hey, the kids can literally wear their athletic socks pulled up to their knees like 90-year-old grandfathers who all they're missing are the white hira leather hirachis and to go to the golf course with it. I can sit here and do this because I don't care. So, I mean, it's a small tube. But I, I wouldn't pay 22 bucks or something this tiny. So, I mean, it's an indie brand, but still. And it appears to be a clear gel, but, you know, let's see. It's not that I hate it because it's clear or anything, but... They gave me a Tristique thing in my add-ons the other day, and it was great. And, like, yay, clear brow gel. Would I spend $22 on a clear brow gel? Hell fucking no. Pardon my French. No way ever, ever, ever. I would seriously go buy clear Maybelline or CoverGirl mascara or the $2 double-ended um, elf one that used to be a dollar. Same thing. I mean, it sweeps my brows up. That's great. I have a, a, a clear Piers soap that will do the same thing. Whatever. And this is the thing I hate the most. Insert name here. 
quick slick hair essence. I told them I don't use anything with silicone and I don't, I'm very particular about my hair products. So this is $22. Designed to quickly and easily touch up your hair. No alcohol, safe for sensitive scalps, non-irritating, non-flaking essence to slick and smooth your baby hairs and flyaways with a light peach scent. I don't do that weird thing with all the swirls. So I don't want anything there on my forehead because I will break out. So I don't need this. And my hair naturally has lots of flyaways because it's curly. There's no way to use this and not get it stuck in your curly hair because it's built like a mascara wand. See? I mean, thank God it's still sealed because I'm not going to keep it. And ingredients. Aqua. Glycerin. Oh, that's very nice. Acrylate copolymer. Silica. Okay. Jojoba uh, alcohol. Xanthan gum. I'm checking. Candelilla wax. Sorbitol. Uh, Camellia japonica seed oil, uh, VPVA copolymer, kaolin, xanthan gum, uh, another oil. Okay, so there's actually no silicone in it. Okay, so I'm not quite as angry, but I am still exactly angry because, again, with curly hair, what am I slicking down that I'm not going to have to cut this thing free? Please, somebody tell me. Have you seen these swirls? They do what they want. What am I, what, what am I, here, these pieces, they don't pay attention. I've tried friggin' dippity do. They just break off from my eyeglasses and my sunglasses, which is why they're not as long as the rest of my hair, and they're going to be like this forever. So, in the end, my bag, box, bin, whatever, less than attractive to me. Yes, this was a nice happy surprise, which I took a gamble on. These are pretty, but not worth the money. I'll revamp this. Don't mind the formula since there's no silicones, but I do mind the application process and I still find it useless. Sure, this is fine. I have a million eye creams. I would literally have to move to Mars and cover my whole body every day for the rest of my life. And this, I mean, it holds. It's nice. It's not sticky. It's still damp. I mean, whatever. I'm not thrilled. Nothing here really blew my skirt up. Like, oh, great. Another cute face palette. That's awesome. So, yeah. But thank you for sticking with me. I did promise you that bonus. So, for $1.29 on Amazon, you too can own these gorgeous snake fashion earrings. I love snakes. I don't want them in my house. I don't want to touch them. I mean, like, I'll hold somebody's pet snake, but I'm not going to go out and, like, touch wild snakes. And I sure as hell don't want a pet snake because they don't make good pets. I'm sorry. So, I'll wear snakes in my jewelry. So, these are little pure steering ones they're not like hooks or anything so and they're not too heavy i think they were literally a dollar 29 i got them on amazon and i'm really looking forward to them they are long and yes any long dangly earring that has pieces like this can snag curly hair but my solution is that i will wear them with my hair pulled back like i have in my ponytail or when my hair is in a bun so i'm happy i got my dollar 29 worth in all three month experiment with boxy how do i feel a, the one time that I had a broken item, they said they were going to replace it. Then when I asked them, where the hell is it? They said, oh, it could take up to 15 business days to ship. Be patient. So by the 15th business day, I'm like, okay, so I like checked and I still don't have my, my shipping confirmation. So where the hell is it? And they said, oh, did you check your spam? I said, yeah, I did. And they said, let me check. Oh, oh, we're out of stock. You're out of stock on the one item that made me want to try your place. And now you're out of stock after you were supposed to mail me a new one 15 days ago. Oh, so we'll just give you your money back. That's not the point. I mean, that's great. That's good customer service to give me the money back. But maybe you should have just fucking shipped it when you told me you could ship it. Instead of waiting 15 days and then telling me, oh, surprise, you're not getting it. Anyway. Um, I found their boxes average to lackluster, which is good because that's kind of where Ipsy's at right now. And they're about to get their ass canceled too. I like their add-ons better though. So I got to read up from people who are more familiar with Boxy on if I cancel, can I still do the add-ons? Because there were some sweet add-ons for dirt cheap and I was broke this month. So I totally did not do them. I put them in the cart and I closed it because I was like, I can't see you. But yes, if you are looking for a box that has really good add-on opportunities or the charm room, Boxy's it. Because I'm sorry, the add-ons from Ipsy are all kinds of ghetto lately. I don't care what. Second chance. There was a point where there was like literally they really kept reminding you, please shop, shop. And everything was garbage. So add-on wise, Boxy wins. But now Boxy and Ipsy are owned by the same people. 
So I don't know if that's why they're having issues now or if that's why Ipsy has gone to hell in a handbasket. But all I do know is that um, if I had better choice, like the way they do glam bag plus choice, but even then, those guys play with it now where they put all the good shit in one group. And so you can only pick one of those. And then everything else in your other groups to pick from is kind of crap. And you're like, well, I guess. Maybe, maybe I'll just find the most expensive thing in here. So really what I'm saying is I think that both of them have kind of had their day and come and gone. And yeah, and I don't know how seriously you can take me with stripes on my face and my pajamas on, big saggy tank top, and um, looking at the junk on my bookcase. But um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Sorry I rambled on. But... Uh, I'm going to go upstairs and plan an outfit around these for tomorrow because I have important meetings and events the rest of the week that are all very high stress and lots of attention required. So um, I think with my little snake earrings, I'll be able to pay attention to things. So thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I wish you good health, happiness, all that good stuff. And just uh, thanks for taking a minute out of your day or night or time to uh, listen to me babble in my pajamas with weird ipsy stuff. I'm mean, sorry, uh, boxy stuff on my face. Huh. All right now. Peace out, peoples.